the coaching dynamic and the way the game's been played, we touched on it off the top, Kane. It's interesting. Uh, the Swans are the best example of the shift. Number one in the league for offence. This was only last year, Hardwick and Longmire after a game, and then what's evolved since? Oh, it was a horrendous game of football, there's no doubt about that. Well, there's not much I can do. I'm sitting there, we're attacking, and we've got 75,000 people in our forward 50, so it's pretty hard. I mean, the comments after the game from Damien were completely unnecessary and unwarranted. They just weren't correct. Sometimes you meet a side that just is going that well, uh, and they teach a few lessons, which they did today. You know, credit to John and his side, they're playing a wonderful brand of footy. Last year we were trying hard to keep evolving the way we play. We just didn't execute it that well and we had a stack of injuries. So let's look at the way they play. They're able to pick apart Richmond zoning defence. Chris, how difficult is it going to be for the likes of Richmond and other teams? Melbourne do it a lot and, and you've historically done it. The best defences do do it. Are they going to get exposed or is this just a one-off bad day for the Tigers? I, I probably lean towards the, the one-off. I thought it was a pretty hot game. I didn't think Richmond were, were terrible. Uh, the, I mean, the short kicking style, especially going inside 50, looks amazing when it works, but when it gets picked off, it looks really bad too. So I suspect that we need a bit more of a sample to make a, a real judgment, but oh, look, Richmond are clearly premiership favourites in my view at the moment. The Swans are a great story though, Carrick. They've been they building this, this, this bunch of kids, and we'll get to how in a moment. Uh, what, what do you reckon's happened there in Sydney? Well, I, I think John Longmire's right. I think they did have injuries last year, and I think what they've done with their academy players has been extraordinary, and they've done it for all the right reasons as well as for their own reasons. And we know they offered, what, 15, 20 years ago to pull out of the draft completely and just get their own footballers, and maybe now we're seeing why that really weird suggestion, it seemed like at the time, is paying off. But they're, they're like a finishing school. It's just we, extraordinary. We're going to have a look at those academy kids in a minute. Uh, Don Pike's getting a lot of press early, Kane. You were, today, I think you said he'd be first cab off the ring for a senior coach. He'd be the top three calls you'd make if oh. you were looking for a senior Oh, that's so cliché, Kane. Why? Why? Whenever a coach does badly, people blame the coach. And whenever they start, something new comes in. And in this case, we've got Don Pike with John. John Longmire's a, t a premiership coach. I understand that. Have you, looked at, Don Pike? Have you looked at Don Pike's resume? You, ran him oh. out. you were one of the ones that ran him out of Adelaide. I wasn't at all. He's told you were Adelaide. hard on him. You were critical. He's, you said he was. No, no, you mismanaged no, the camps for no, three years. No, that's harsh. I, I and then three judged games it on what career. I saw. And if you look at his win-loss record, it's outstanding. If you look at his resume, it's even better. And now he it's, wants... It's, and it's now highly he, inconsistent he with what you said to do two it. Yeah, That's incorrect, Hutchie. His time at Adelaide was up. And for, for a couple of reasons, he's had a year off, he's revitalised, he's gone back to Perth, and now he's put his hand up. And there would be 10 clubs wondering, well, why didn't we call this bloke? Because they averaged... Well, they, a few of them did. They I averaged mean, 52 points last year, they're kicking 121, and they're playing a lot like the Crows. So Richmond lost on the weekend because they've lost Justin Leppich and Craig McRae. I mean, I just think the head coach is the man. And um, although Sydney's set-up is interesting, isn't well, it? it? Is, they've only got four, is that right? They, they prioritised, and they said this morning on radio, they prioritised less and greater quality in their mind. So they put um, more money into less people, in other words. And that really is a hit for those in footy clubs who want to get more staff back into the assistant coaching ranks because everyone's been hit. I guess it was an unforeseen set of circumstances where you had to prioritise where the $6.3 or $4 million went. Their model is, is less. How much strain is it put on the system and what, what model do you think works? Oh, it's an enormous strain, but the, the part that I think a lot of people miss is what's happening outside of your best 25 or 30 players and as you articulated so clearly they have an academy that's performing pretty mm. well so they prioritise it seems to me their top 25, 30 players um, and there is, has been an argument for a, a leaner coaching group and we, we were thinking that way as well when we were almost assured that list sizes were going to come down by about 10 so the, the coach-to-player ratio um, is not where it should be, in my view. We're going to speak in detail about the academies in a moment, but do you think that gives, because they're so well set up in that area, away from their, from their footy department, do you think that gives them a, an extra advantage now in the, in the contracting um, soft cap? The Swans? For coaches? Yep. The fact that they've got less coaches because their academy is so well established. Uh... I, look, I haven't really thought about it. I just think it's a, it's a no-brainer. It's obvious that they don't need to put that much time into their academy. You will, I mean, Chris, you will. The, 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 Mel the powerful Melbourne block, throw in West Coast, will come for the academy soon. Well, I mean, if we look through it logically, I mean, the, 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 most of the population in Australia, or a lot of the population, um, is in Sydney, and a lot of the talent is there. And if they can harness the sporting talent, I think most of us would know that played. 
uh, when in year 10 or 11 the best cricketers were also the best footy players who were the best rugby players. It's really smart. Um, and I think the key question for the competition needs to be what price do they pay? Because no one can argue that it's not good for the game to get the best talent playing AFL footy in New South Wales. And there's one in Adelaide now and there's one at Carlton. But the, so... the Swans have got the model that's been in better for a long time. And yep. uh, unfairly perhaps, but the, the, the discussion's going to move here really quickly, Caro. They've had 2,400 players through their academy. Now, 12 players have played a senior game. And at the moment, their midfield really is being dictated to by this group. Mills has become the guy. Heaney's having a good season. Blakey's a potential star. And the two kids, um, Errol and uh, Campbell, uh, may be the two that really break the, the model on the evaluation because they were round one and two rising stars mm. and they are getting real reward out of this academy and they deserve it. And they, the headline is that more than half of those kids wouldn't have played AFL footy if it wasn't for this one. I reckon it's great. They're all from Sydney I, I think, up to... What are you laughing at? Oh, I mean, I mean, with the greatest respect. I mean, John um, Blakey's son clearly... That's I'll, the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, well, that, I said more than half. I yeah, and, and look, there are all there are anomalies everywhere. We're never going to get our game in the next couple of decades anyway to the point where it's just completely even. I think that's where the big Melbourne clubs would like it to be. Um, even the Perth clubs. I mean, if you threw another team into Perth or another team into Adelaide, their advantage would go down. Um, and you've got to, it swings and roundabouts a bit. The, it's a bit like... The economic environment. It's about trying to work out what the, the what the appropriate price to pay is. I think that's that's the most relevant debate.